Hi, Chris McLoon here at FDIC International 2023. I am at the Wilbert booth and I'm with Dave Kotzmeyer. He's the VP of Marketing with Wilbert. We're gonna talk about the NightScan IQ system today and the Altherian IQ lights today. So Dave, just to get us started, sure. could you talk a little bit about how the NightScan IQ system is different from other systems that are out there? Sure. This is the first light tower system, Chris, that allows you to preset controls and deployment. Gets you to your job faster. So you set in, you wanna start it, auto start, goes up, goes to the angle you pre-programmed, lights come on, all automatically. So with the Altherian <clears throat> IQ lights, how do those lights help firefighters on the scene of, of any incident? Yeah, uh, great question. So this is the first system, we call it the IQ system, where the lights are adjustable. You can dim them, brighten them, you can shift from spot to flood. So it's just like you're focusing or you're flooding the scene. And because we have two banks of lights here, you can flip them in opposite directions and put flood on one part of the scene, spot on another. So you may flood uh, the staging area, help the guys get ready. You may already have a spotlight on a car crash, wherever the incident is. Okay. You went through a lot of different settings <laughs> sure there. So can you, can you describe for us how you control that and, and how just how the sure. whole system works? Yeah, it's not as complicated as it sounds. It's a really intuitive system that comes with all this. We're booting up right now. It's checking that the system's operational. We want to go auto up. We want to turn it around 180 degrees and we're good to go. So now it's going through its auto up sequence while you're getting to your job and doing something more important. Lights come on, flips around. If the first position is down on the ground, they figure you're still around the truck and you're good to go. So this is gonna be at the, this is gonna be at the truck or yep. at, at whatever vehicle's being used, whether it could be, be a command vehicle, it could be a fire right. apparatus, it could even be a police car yep. um, or a police vehicle. This is at the truck. You also have a remote uh, controller. Now, are all the features that are here on the remote controller as well, or is this more for after it's up and running and, and you're changing some things around? Uh, that's exactly what it's for. It's to allow you to adjust the position of the tower once you get it deployed. Uh, the main controller here where all the brains reside, that can go on the outside of the truck, inside a compartment. It's fully waterproof, so you can put it wherever you need it. Can it be, could you have two of them on a truck? Maybe one on, on the driver's side, one on the officer's you side, sure wherever could. it's most convenient? You sure could. So we talked about all the different places that mm. this system and the controller can be. Could you demonstrate for us just what those special features were of the lights themselves? Absolutely, Chris. So what we'll do is we'll tilt them up towards the ceiling here so we don't blind all our uh, neighbors. <clears throat> I go into the mode where I can operate this, the lights. You can see they default to 50% flood, 50% spot, and then you can adjust them from there. So we've got it in the mode where they're all working together. So we can do what we call focus mode and it backs off the floodlight LEDs and adds more power to the spot. That will get you the longest, tightest range, just like you were focusing a camera and zooming in on something. That's how this works. And we have it synced up, so both lights are working together right now. So we want to back out to go back to where we were. It's as easy as that. We want to decrease the intensity of the lights. We can back them down as well. And we can increase them. A new feature that I don't think anybody's ever had is we can flash the lights as well. So we can uh, <clears throat> use a bank of lights, either one or two of them, as a warning light for potential traffic coming into uh, the area. I could also see that as a really good way. You know, we when we talk about evacuating the building, you know, uh, you know, we have tones that we use to evacuate the building. We used to tell folks when they're when they're lost or you know to look for windows, you mm -hmm. know, for the flashing lights and stuff like that. That would be a nice addition to, you know, it's time to evacuate the building, flashing those lights. I mean, exactly. it's, gonna be hard not, it's gonna be hard to miss that. <laughs> Absolutely is, yep. So we'll turn these back on. Now we can just adjust one here. So we've got our flood, um, flood light activated on the right side and we're turning it up. So the spots are just minimized, the floods 
um, full power. Good use of that is to turn light on your staging area, give the guys a good light to work with. You can also dim it down because now our lights are so bright. These are 30,000 lumens each. Sometimes it's too much. You can dim them down, which no other light gives you that option today. Okay. Well, I want to thank you again for taking some time out with me today. I know you're very busy at FDIC International. It was crazy here. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. we're on the second day right now. It was crazy here on the first day. We're expecting another record day today. So, again, my thanks to Dave for, for stepping in here and going through all this with us. Again, this has been Chris McClune with FDIC International. Have a good one and stay safe.